Welcome to Master. In this video, we would like to introduce our innovative industrial secure LT router, WR3X2G series. This innovative industrial secure LT router is designed for IIoT application by single or dual high-speed LT routing or Wi-Fi networks. Two serial ports are able to connect to local server devices. The USB design helps easy fill in the installation. This device is equipped with SD card that can store application programs or diagnostic log file. And also, the support of OpenVPN and IPsec provides security of the gateway. For the appearance part, this device is equipped with 5 expansion radio card that support LTE, GPS, and wireless connection. Then to serial ports which are RS232, 422, 485 ports is provided that able to connect to local serial devices. And the system LED in order to give any status information from the router. Easy system management is also provided here with USB for configuration and firmware update, also the reset button. 2 gigabit Ethernet are supported this device. The SIM card slot with one SD card slot are installed on this device. At the bottom of the device, a ground screw and integrated power connector also provided. The last part is on the rear side of the device. There's a thin rail clip attached. This table is about the model series list. Basically, the entire models are equipped with 2 gigabit Ethernet and 2 serial ports. For WR302G is the basic product that there is no radio installed and WR312G is supported by one radio where WR322G is supported by two radios. At the end of this video, we would like to show you two short demos that can help you understand more about the device. The first demo is about how our notebook or mobile device gets the internet connection through the LTE router. For the first demo, we need to make sure that our notebook doesn't have any internet connection. And you can see here from the IP configuration, there is no IP address appear. To get the internet connection, the LTE router here, we already have the LTE signal that connect to the internet. So let's try just connect our notebook to the LTE router. And now let's check once again for the IP configuration. Yes, you can see here that the notebook already received the IP address. So let's check out the web GUI. Because our device already got the internet connection through the LTE. You can see from the IP address at the LAN setting. And now let's try to find out from other website. Yeah, so our device right now can connect to the internet. For the second demo, we would like to show you how the branch office as the VPN clan can access the file server at the headquarter through the VPN server by using the LTE router. The VPN clients use the LTE connection to connect with the VPN server. To simulate the topology, we are using two laptops and two LTE router. Where the first LTE router is the VPN server that connected to public network, and the second LTE router is the VPN client that connected to the VPN server through the LTE. And this is the web GUI. And you can see here, this is the IPsec configuration. Let's just enable it to activate the IPsec configuration and then click it Submit.
And now you can see here that the IPsec status is connected, which means the connection is established. To make sure that the connection is established, let's try to make the two devices ping each other. As you can see from the screen here, the devices can connect each other, which means that the VPN client is already connected to the VPN server. So then the computer at the branch office can access the file server at the headquarters.